Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. Today I am going to show you how you can install Redis on Amazon Linux 2033. So let's get started. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to uh, launch an EC2 instance and then we are going to install uh, Redis over there. So let's get started. I'm going to click the launch instance button. Then I'm going to choose an image. So the image is Amazon Linux 2023. That's split by default selected. So then let's give it a name, there it is. We keep everything as default, select a key pair. And then I'm going to go to the advance and then choose an IEM role, right? The IEM role is required to connect to that instance. Okay, let's launch the instance. The instance is uh, getting launched. It might take around two to three minutes. So let's go to the details of that instance. refresh this page it's initializing let's wait one more minute so meanwhile it's ready i'm having a bit of cold so my voice is a bit low today sorry for this uh, inconvenience but i hope you will understand what i'm doing here okay let's go to the details and then I'm going to click the connect button. Oh, it's still not ready. So let's refresh one more time. It looks like it is taking some time because uh, setting up the server is like, okay, it's not ready yet. So let's uh, wait for a few more seconds more. I'm going to refresh again. So what is Redis? Redis is a key, key value database system. So you can store data in a key and value. That's it, very simple. There is no table, there is no database or et cetera. You just use everything in a key value. My instance is ready now, hopefully. So let's get connected. So this is, I'm going to make this uh, screen a bit bigger. Okay, I hope you see this screen, right? It's much bigger now. So uh, this is Amazon Linux 2023. What is the difference in Amazon Linux 2 and Amazon Linux 2023? Amazon Linux 2 was based on CentOS 7, whereas uh, Amazon Linux 2023 is based on Fedora. So the commands that used to run on Amazon Linux 2 will not run here. For example, the Fedora uses DNF, whereas Amazon Linux 2 uses YUM. So let's do DNF update minus Y, okay. Then we are going to search for Redis, DNS search Redis. This will give us a list of uh, packages that is available in this uh, OS for the Redis. So I see here Redis 6, there is a persistent key value database. I think this is the one, right? So what you can do is like DNF install Redis 6. And yes, that's the package, Redis 6, Amazon Linux, size 1.3, 6.2.13. Okay, this is good. So what we install, Redis 6. Let's go to the Redis official site and verify whether Redis uh, current version. What is the latest version now? 
I think, okay, it is 7.2 that is a stable. And I said, no, 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 it is interesting at all. Okay. 36 is okay, I think. There is not a big difference, I hope. But yeah, I don't see any package for ready seven, right? It's all ready six. So yeah, this is this is coming as a uh, package for Amazon Linux 2023. So that's why it's a little bit behind from the official one. I think over the time you will get ready seven also available or ready eight, etc. At this moment, stable is seven point two. We are using six point two or six point six. That's 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 okay. Okay, let's clear. So we have installed ready six. Now we are going to restart it, right? So we have to run system CTL restart ready six. So you might try with system CTL restart ready. That would not work because we this is renamed as ready six. So what we can do is like, I'm um, sorry, user bin. So there might be a folder called ready six, right? Uh, it is. Yeah, it is ready six CLI. And then ready six, you have server as well. Ready six server, ready six CLI. Okay. So what we can do is like we can create a symbolic link so that it points to ready six CLI rather than ready CLI and ready six server to ready server. But let's that's up to you. If you think that it makes a bit more confusing, then you can add some symbolic link and then you can run it ready system sudo system CTL restart redis, something like this. This will not work at this moment because it's now using ready six. Okay, now we have restarted it. Let's enable it. System CTL enable ID six, right? That's done. Enable means that when you reboot the server, this application will auto start. Okay, now we are going to connect. How do we connect? So we have a ready CLI, but here we need to use ready six CLI. Okay, that's connected here. Now set some value. Set pick. AWS, right? Get epic AWS. Set some other value. Set name epic. Get name. Okay, that's that's actually basically what we do with Redis. You set value, you get value. It's basically used for caching session so mostly temporary data holding so that um this is very fast it is in memory database right so everything is stored in memory it's ram other databases like mysql or maybe mongodb they store in a file and as you know memory or ram is much much faster than uh file system so that's why redis is very much faster compared to other databases if you do not want to take this headache of installing Redis and running over there, what you can do is like use uh, Elastic Cache. Yeah, there is Elastic Cache. They have uh, managed Redis service. So we can use that as well. It is a bit expensive compared to running on a like uh, standalone EC2 instance. But if you do not want to keep this headache and you want to like, I don't want to manage these servers. This is too much complex for me. I just wanted to use Redis server. So you just use uh, AWS Elastic Cache and create a Redis cluster. Okay, I'm going to show you the example in another day. Today, that was the plan. We installed, in summary, we installed Redis. So just gave me a note. What I'm going to share with you in the video description as well. So install Redis. So I'm just going to give you the command here. I exit. Okay. 
okay copy so that's install redis right the end of install so remember this is amazon Linux 2023 that's it the end of install redis 6 actually um, at first search the repo dnf so dnf search radius this will show you list and then from that list you can choose ready six and maybe over the time period later on you might see ready seven as also available then you can choose ready seven right that's uh you just have to understand that so that's installing then uh restart or start system ctl uh restart ready six enable so system CTL enable Redis 6 connect with Redis CLI. There is Redis 6 CLI. That's it. So these are the main comments. I will give you in the video description. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like this video. I help other people as well so share this video with your friends and i hope they will like it as well thank you everyone allah peace assalamu alaikum